Hello everybody and welcome to the final episode of Metroid Prime. In the last episode we defeated Meta Ridley and gained access to the Impact Crater. So let's just hop on inside. So to start things off, we've got a nice little stave. Why do I keep calling it the stave station? It's the save station. Save station. There is no T in save. Right, so you can enter that at any time to go back. This is not a one-way exit. But here we've got this volatile form of red phase on. We'll take damage from direct contact. We're not immune to this stuff. The only thing you really need to scan here. Any of these little lizard things, Limigex. That's pretty much it. That's all the scans you're going to get apart from, you know, the final boss. But the main reason why this area is such a pain is because of the fission metroids. Oh dear god, the fission metroids. The impact crater, while short, is notorious for having an infinite amount of endlessly respawning fission metroids. So besides the fact that they're some of the hardest enemies in the game, they also just continue attacking you infinitely. No matter how many times you kill them, you will never exterminate them, making them really, really annoying. That's the main reason why everyone hates this. Now we've got two exits from this room. One of them, I believe, leads to a missile station. Yeah, here we go. So we can refuel missiles, which is probably a good idea. We get to our full 250 missile capacity, yeah. That's nice. I like having missiles. Having oh, missiles is a good thing. The aesthetic of this place is pretty cool. There are these little fish swimming around inside. I'm not sure what that is. Ice? Glass? Whatever it is, you can't get through it, so. And those fish don't count for any sort of scan. Ow! Stop that. Yeah, these guys are everywhere. So you want to make sure they don't interrupt any of your jumping patterns. If they do, you'll plummet down to the bottom and have to make your way back up. Very annoying. Anyway, right through this door. And we've got some spider ball tracks. Not sure where spider ball tracks came from down here in this mysterious crater. Head around the spiral. In order to get to the far door, open it up, and the final boss lies in there. Something I've always found kind of funny is that when the final boss is hanging from the ceiling like that, it kind of looks like a little sad face, like those are the two eyes, and a little, little mouth, and a nose. It's kind of cute, but also slightly terrifying. That's not nearly what it looks like. We enter, and find the unimaginable horror lurking in the depths of the impact crater. The reason for the corruption that has been cursing this planet ever since the crater impacted the surface. This is the Metroid Prime. The bore a hole in the wall behind it, and we just gotta chase it down. Alright, starting the fight with Metroid Prime. It's got this strong exoskeleton and can only be hurt through that little gap in its opening. Basically what you have to do is hit it with whatever color it happens to have. Every other thing will bounce off of it. Ah, in this case, the missiles are missing. But yeah, charge combo is definitely a great idea to use when it's in its power, power beam form. That, damage it once and it'll continue to delve further. Or not. Go to wave. That's fine. Fine by me. Wave beam is actually pretty easy because it homes automatically, meaning that hitting it, it's just a matter of locking on and firing at will. Alright, so once you get it down that time, it's going to go down to a deeper layer of the impact crater. We just 
just gotta follow it down. So that was really stage one. It's kind of separated into stages. I wouldn't call them phases because they're remarkably similar to each other, but stages seems like a better word for it. And as it goes down, you'll get a variety of different attacks, such as this one to interrupt your lock-on so you can't hit it as well, as well as shooting some projectiles at you that you can shoot in order to get more ammo or health. Alright, there we go. Going down, what's going to turn now? Oh yeah, go into your morph ball when it does that. That's the purpose of the ruts in the floor. Alright, power bomb. That means super missiles. Okay, these projectiles, just shoot them out of the sky with whatever weapon you happen to be using. It doesn't take a lot, and they will drop energy for you, as well as sometimes missiles. In that case, that just refilled me to full health, so that's pretty cool. Alright, go into morph ball form. I'm gonna charge across. Pretty easy to dodge. What color are you now? White? I'm guessing? Yep, white. Alright, now in this case, it's probably wise to use the missile or the charge combo. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> nice. One shot. One hit, one kill. Well, not kill. But damage. <laughs> Alright, so that was phase... Not phase. Stage two. Stage two of this fight. Moving on. Okay, what color... Oh, God. This attack is really annoying. You can use boost ball to get out of it. Alright, you're red. This should be... Cakewalk. Hitting you in the eye with the best beam in the game. I could use the flints over here, but I want to kind of conserve my missiles. At least a little bit. You can shoot at projectiles and stop them from hitting you and get some more health slash ammo. Alright, cool. Going to the side. There's no rut in the middle anymore, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to dodge, dodge that charge attack. What are you now? Ice again? Alright. Simple charge missile combo thing should be enough to stop that. Yeah, ice is easy. To be honest, there are ways to deal with everything. For power and ice, just use charge combos. Wave and plasma, just hit him with the regular shot. Alright, boost ball to get out of this. So we've got power, meaning super missile. Boom. Alright, that's another phase. Not a phase. I keep calling it a phase. I don't really consider it a phase, to be honest, because it's too similar. It's more of a stage. I don't know why I keep making that distinction. I, just, I find that there's a difference in my mind. Especially with a boss like this, where it keeps repeating its attack even between phases, and just gets slightly stronger every time. So now it's got these missiles that I can shoot at you. Have I scanned this thing? Highly involved phase on producing life form. Aberration known as Metroid Prime is the source of phase on, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable. Other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at disposal. These include ultra frigid breath, multi missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and barbed carapace may lethal melee combat recommend maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. Alright. So yeah, this thing's dangerous. You don't mess with the Metroid Prime. You got a whole game named after it. Alright, we'll continue downwards. I believe this is the final stage of this phase. I think. I might be wrong. What color are you? Alright, red. We can deal with red. Oh, no, now you're white. White is even easier. Just charge Combrio away into its eye deal massive damage. And then, of course, more fall in the center. Alright, what are you now? Show us what you got. In this final stage, it will change between its different colors at will, so not ne necessarily just when you damage it, like that. I was about to do damage, and then it switched to... Same with that! <laughs> it frankly gets kind of annoying, and it's pretty effective, too. The AI, the AI is pretty good when dealing with that, except obviously they don't want to make it impossible. Alright, here's one of these. Pow!
All right, come on. One more, one more of these should do it, I think. All right, come on. Let's get the final hit. Final hit. Let's do a regular attack with the final hit. Regular charge beam. Okay. Ooh, that was a new one. Let's do a regular charge beam hit for the final attack. If I can make it. Just keep going. Screw super missiles. Real men do it the hard way. Ha <laughs> ha! So with that, the exoskeleton phase is done with. And the real Metroid Prime lurks below. We're pretty deep. Look at the map. We're well below the surface of the planet at this point. And below lies our final challenge. Let's see what you really look like. This is the true Metroid Prime, final boss of Metroid Prime, and we're gonna kill it now! Scan indicates that the Phazon energy form is invulnerable to all conventional weapons. Only attacks from a Phazon fused arm cannon will damage it. It generates pools of Phazon when it attacks. Use these to fuel your suit's Phazon weapon system. It can also respond Metroids to assist it in battle, rendering itself invisible when it does so. Yeah, this thing spawns Fission Metroids. Not to be messed with. One thing that's actually really cool is that when you get the Phazon suit after beating the Omega Pirate, a feature that it doesn't necessarily tell you outright, but can only be found in the logbook, is that it also gives you the ability to use Phazon against enemies. The Metroid Prime gives you these pools of ultra, of a uh, super concentrated Phazon, concentrated rather. You can use the X-ray vir visor. Stand in them, enter hyper mode, and blast it to smithereens. It's just such a satisfying feel to it when you do that. So during the battle, it'll shift between all the different visors being able to see it. Right now we're on the X-ray visor mode. So something cool about this final boss is that it does use every single weapon and every single visor that you get throughout the game, as well as making decent use of the charge combos in order to affect it. Alright, right now it's in the thermal visor mode. Just charge, dodge, its attack, dodge its attacks when it does that, simply by jumping over it. Exit all visors in order to see it now. And as soon as it goes into x-ray mode again, we should be able to get a good look at it. I'm sorry, we should be able to do the thing again. Come on, spawn your little puddle of Phazon. I want to use it against you. Hello? Talking to you. There we go. So we'll spawn Fission Metroids, as well as entering the Thermal Visor Mode. Wow, that's creepy. Hyper Mode it to death! Oh, you stupid fission metroids. Get out of here. When you're in hyper mode, you can fill, kill fission metroids in one hit. Really nice that they decided, decided to do that for you, I think. It's nice killing an enemy that couldn't be killed easily earlier with a single press of a button. Alright, come on, give me another puddle to work with. I'm ready to blast you with more phase on energy. Come on, you tentacle thing, you. I need some more ammo. There we go, that's more like it. We've got Hunter Metroid here. Blast with ice, shoot it like that. I think this is a regular Metroid, actually. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Alright, X ray beam. Visor. X ray visor, there's no X ray beam. beam. Hyper mode! Die! Haha! <laughs> All right, we've got it down about halfway now. Just waiting for it to spawn another puddle. This is basically the final showdown with the Metroid Prime. There's nothing really after this. This is the final phase of the final boss. And all we gotta do now is blast it 
into smithereens. I've used that word too much, but it's just a really fun word to use. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Spawning your little Metroids. Yeah, yeah, very threatening. Take them out easily. Ice Beam. Cool. Is that Power Bomb ammo? Why have you given me Power Bomb ammo? I don't need Power Bomb. In fact, you don't need to use the Morph at all during the final boss. The only thing you need the Morph Ball for is for the Spider Ball track leading up to you. Why are you giving me Power Bomb ammo? That's not right. Don't need it. Don't need it. Alright, give me another puddle. Another puddle. I must construct additional pylons in the form of phase on puddles. Do it! No, not that. The other thing. The thing where you spawn phase on. Yes, that thing. Additionally, during this fight, you'll be getting a bunch of different. Uh, hello. You'll be getting a ton of different uh, help from all the metros that are spawning. Oh, that looks so cool when you do it without any visors. Oh, its tentacles splay out in all different directions as you inflict much pain onto this terrible creature that caused basically the destruction of an entire civilization. Come on, is that all you got? You're almost dead. Yeah, that's right. You can continue glaring at me with those angry red eyes and the exposed brain tissue and all that. Really? You're dead already. Oh, that's a fission Metroid. Ew. Yucky. Haha. <laughs> that was cool. Where are you? Hey! Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my right hand girl! Yeah, come on. We're so close. One more bout of concentrated phase on firing should do it. Give me the ammo, and I'll use it to take you out. Oh, it didn't even give me a puzzle, puzzle that time. It's a shame. There we go. That's the stuff. Spawn two fission metroids. Really annoying. But to be honest, those are the least of our issues. Just blast this guy with phase on energy, and the Metroid Prime is defeated. Phazon suit is literally ripped off of our body as the Metroid Prime threatens to explode. Crater collapse imminent. Evacuate immediately. Instead of the standard Metroid escape sequence, because that wouldn't really be that intense, we're just immediately taken out and that's the end of the game. We've beaten Metroid Prime. Samus calls her ship over and makes a quick escape. Now all this is the standard ending. I think as long as you get, as long as you beat the game, you'll get this ending. But you need at least 60%, I think, or is it 75? Around there, in order to get this next segment of the ending, where Samus will take her helmet off and you get to see her face. Yes, Samus is a girl. Gasp. Kind of old news at this point, to be honest. the surface of Talon 4, with the evil defeated and the space pirates thwarted once more. Alright, so here we have the credits, really cool credit song, 
I like the credit song. It's a good song. But anyway, this has been Metroid Prime. Jeez, I love this game. When I first got the ability to record console gameplay, I knew that this would be the first game that I LP'd. Just because it's, frankly, a game that I really do enjoy. I just think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and yeah, um, plans for the future. Hmm. In terms of future Wii games, I'm definitely going to be starting up another console gameplay series. To be honest, I'm not sure what I want to do. Hmm. I mean, it's not because there's not enough things to do, but because there's too many options for me to choose from. <laughs> I'm sure I'll pick something. And whatever it is, it should be interesting. So now let's take the rest of this time to make fun of little Japanese names. Oh look, it's Reggie. He's important in Nintendo. He's a person that you might want to know in the, the gaming scene. Michael Man. Superman's less inspired brother. David Zoid Hirsch. That's a cool nickname. And, uh, Don Hogan? Like Hulk Hogan. Alejandro. <laughs> Am I really just reading out the credits of this game? But yeah, honestly, one of my favorite games. Definitely glad I got to show it on my YouTube channel. And, you know, thanks for everyone for watching. Sticking with this series to the end. The Toriwata! He's also a person who makes games at Nintendo. Kenji Yamamoto. He made the music. It's very good music. And John Drifts. The credits theme. Yeah. Good things. Not good stuff. Good things. There's a complete difference. <laughs> yes, yes, all these people. The credits for Metro Prime is actually... A pretty long sequence. I wish they would make it scroll a little bit faster, or at least make something more interesting in the background than randomly zooming around a thing of pink dots. Not sure what those are supposed to be, maybe like, I don't know, some sort of gene DNA thing? Little molecules? Little bacteria? Not sure. Ooh, languages. <coughs> oh, we're getting to the end now. I'm gonna say all rights reserved, Nintendo. Yep, there we go. <laughs> can I call him or can I call him? Alright, now this scene is only visible if you get 100% of all collectibles in the game. Sorry, not this scene. The one after this one. When the Metroid Prime exploded, it absorbed their suit. 100% Hyper Mode difficulty unlocked, which is really, really hard, and I don't want to do it anytime soon. But that suit that was stolen from us means something more threatening. In the depths of the impact crater, a new enemy emerges. Yeah, I'll save. This has been Metroid Prime. I'll eventually get around to doing Metroid Prime 2 and Metroid Prime 3 sometime in the future, but not for a little bit. I'm Cameron, HalfPixel274, whatever you want to call me. And this has been Metroid Prime. Thank you all very, very much for watching.